What's good, y'all? Callie Green here, holding it down. Carnival Spirits. We be those motherfucking ninjas in action. So today, I wanted to bring up an interesting little topic. The topic of today is, would Magic Ninja Entertainment exist if Blazia Dead Homie hadn't left Psychopathic Records? So, let's go ahead and think back a little bit to um, whenever Twisted had first left Psychopathic Records. A lot of Juggalos were confused. A lot of Juggalos thought there was beef. Twisted immediately came out and said, there's no beef, nothing like that. We just want to uh, test the waters and see if we're able to do this shit on our fucking own. We just, we're ready to spread our fucking wings, basically. And with that being said, Juggalos for the most part, understood, and we're like, all right, hell yeah, we cool with this. Then, not long after, I want to say it was like maybe a month or so after Twisted had left, it might have been sooner than that, but Violent J had taken to the internet and announced that Blaze had left along with Twisted. Now, this stirred up a lot of controversy because Blaze didn't leave the label and was very confused at this matter. So Juggalos were pissed off at Violent J. You know, um, they're like, yo, what the fuck, Jay? You fucked up. How are you going to go and do your dead homie like that? You kicking him off the label? What's good? And, um, Jump Steady had to come out and apologize on behalf of Violent J via the internet. And he basically had stated, like, you know, there just hasn't been a lot of communication there. We figured that Blaze went ahead and jumped ship along with Twisted. So, Blaze was still on the label. Shortly after that, it was announced that he did, in fact, decide to leave the label and I think it was more so due to you know the um, presumption that he had left you know it was put out there that he left he didn't you know I think this kind of maybe ticked him off a bit not really sure but he decided to leave the label Twisted formed Magic Ninja and the first album to be released on the label was Gang Rags Reborn which essentially is what Gang Rags should have been. Now, before there was Gang Rags, it was announced, like, way back, all right? So let's go back to the original Gang Rags. Before there was the original Gang Rags, it was announced on um, DJ Clay. He did that Cypher track, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, that family track, where it had everyone on the roster, and it was called uh, Kept Hustlin'. In Blaze's verse, he announced that his next album was gonna be called Last House on Dead Street. So, Gang Rags Reborn is essentially that album. They had released it as Gang Rags Extended on a tour. Um, it was a tour exclusive. And then they went back whenever they formed Magic Ninja and they revamped most of those tracks and it was released as Gang Rags Reborn. Anyways, getting a little off topic here. I mean, what if Violent J didn't jump the fucking gun and say that Blaze had left? Would Blaze have left? And if he didn't, what would be the state of Magic Ninja Entertainment? Would Twisted have done that? Would they have formed a whole fucking label to sign other acts? Because I don't think that was their original game plan. They just wanted to see, you know, what they could accomplish on their own. Like, they honestly, they just wanted to do their own thing. And then with Blaze, you know, being put in the situation he was put in, they formed Magic Ninja. They um, got back into contact with ROC, drafted ROC, then they brought in Lex the Hexmaster, and so on and so forth. 
what do y'all think? You know, would Magic Ninja exist the way it does today if Blaze had decided at the time to stay with Psychopathic? Would we have this big divide in the Juggalo family right now if Violent J didn't jump the gun and say that Blaze had left when he essentially didn't? Yeah, I want to hear y'all's thoughts, so leave them down below. Video comments are also welcome, or video comments, video responses, comments and video responses, motherfuckers. Till next we meet, I'm Cali Green, too fresh, always keep it wicked fresh, whoop whoop.